What's up everyone, Gids here for another Summoner's War Chronicles video and today we are going to talk about things that you might have missed from the update, July 15 updates that came out with the Farakel update because Farakel is just a big thing right now. So yeah, let's go ahead and start. First up is 6-3 equipments are actually here and a lot of people fail to notice that but yeah, you can see here in the blacksmithing section of your professions you can now craft a 6 star awake 3 equipment so not just weapons there's also sub weapons and accessories as well so this is again going to consume a lot of resources for you guys yeah for me as well but you know if you're prepared then you should be good right so you need a lot of contana materials so there's a lot of contana materials here and of course the drop from the new farakel dungeon all right so yeah good luck farming for your stuff and it sucks if you use your refined stones already but if you're trying to do your your upgrades from, from 6.2 to 6.3 i recommend that you do it one by one slowly and upgrade the equipments with the worst stats first before you work on the equipments that have been fine tuned especially Orbia players there and cleef players because i know you guys have been min maxing your stats but Kina players, eh, hey, we don't care what stats we get. And speaking of Kina, I'll be talking about the Kina changes or Kina updates uh, in a part 2 for this video because I think there's a lot of stuff that I want to talk about for the Kina changes, a lot of new stuff that you can do. And yeah, next up. Okay, along with the equipments, we also now have equipment succession. So if you have equipments, for example, and this thing right here, it's a trinket. You can go to your enhance. So it's over here on the left side, equipment succession. So you get to select an equipment and you get to select a material that you want to use to upgrade that equipment. So you can see here, it's possible to use a six star equipment to upgrade a six two equipment, but you will lose out on a little bit of enhancement. So it's recommended that you upgrade this thing to six two first before you actually feed it to a six two item as much as possible. Sometimes it's just unfortunate that you can't actually upgrade an item or use a higher tier higher tier equipment as a material so for example this ring right here i want to upgrade it or do succession on it but the only ring that i have is actually a 6-1 equipment so i will need to put this guy on 6-2 first before i can actually use this thing as a material for succession okay so yeah that's the plan we'll have to wait to get this thing to 6-2 before we can actually use it or do succession some few things to note for succession if the succession material or the material you're going to use has an effect stone it's going to transfer the stone effect stone that you have on the material equipment to the target equipment so for this case right we have defense percent here it's going to transfer over to this one but if you already have an effect stone on the target material and for example you don't have any effect stones on the material equipment it will not delete whatever it is that you have for example this one it will not delete whatever effect stone you have on this so it's actually something worth noting and for gems if you're trying to succeed with materials that has gems it's not actually going to consume your gems or it's not gonna transfer over your gems. You have to remove the gems manually through the hand worker in towns. So if you go over to a town and you look for a hand worker, right? So NPC hand worker over here and you transfer over to them. That's where you get to remove your gems. All right, with regards to succession, I can't actually test anything right now because the siege battle thing is bugged. So you can see here, once you unequip your item, and you try to enhance it and go to equipment succession you can't actually see the item here because it's treating it as something that's equipped for siege battle preparation but if you go to your defense and modify and remove yeah remove everything you can't even modify your equipment here right wait this is my equipment that's registered uh -huh. remove and then you complete or get go back right you have no teams registered it's still not gonna do anything for you or it's not gonna remove the indicators that it's in siege battle right so 
everything that I've tried to equip unequip equipments for the siege battle thingy, it's not working. So this is annoying. <laughs> I hope this gets fixed soon because we can't actually do any experiments with my equipments right now because they are technically being used for siege battle. So unfortunate over there. Anyways, moving on. So if you go to your runes and rune alchemy, you can now craft random runes over here. So random runes, it's much cheaper than crafting specific runes because you will not be needing any engraved stones over here. So if you click down here or in the middle over here, it's random runes. So you can select, of course, go for six star legend runes if you want to gamble. I mean, I think it's pretty cheap, no? Or, well, it's not really for the magical rune piece, but, you know, if you want to RNG everything, it's possible that you get something good from this thing. Possible, but, you know, it's never guaranteed that you get the things that you actually want. And looking at this right now, it looks like there's nothing here. Ooh, this one could be good for the water magical archer if we ever get one. Defense percent could be good for panda. Ah, oh no. This is bad. <laughs> Fatal, focus, guard rune with no defense, swift rune, wow, defense percent. But yeah, those are our random crafts, right? So, oh wait, we can do it again. Let's go. <laughs> but yeah, this is RNG. I mean, I don't care about the rune pieces because I don't really usually craft any runes anyway. But oh, look at this crit rate, crit damage, attack speed. Those are really nice substats. But I don't actually really need them. So if you ever want to craft or to use your resources, right, this is one way to burn them. Because sometimes it's kind of hard to actually get the right stats that you want over here. Like for example, this one, we want reach runes or maybe blade runes. But you know, RNG is still RNG and sometimes you still can't get it. Oh, this one's better, right? You want destroy runes? Oh, so it's done. So usually this should be better. Usually. So... I would feel better if we do this one. This one's a pretty good rune if we RNG the good stats. This one's okay as well, maybe if we get crit damage HP. Attack percent. This one as well. Crit rate, crit damage. So not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, moving on. We also now have outfit disassembly. So if you look at your outfits, you can now disassemble them. And you're going to require this item right here. Premium Sewing Seesaw. So if you go to your professions processing, you can find this one here. And it requires tough leather. And speaking of tough leathers, you can actually get this one from the updated hero area. So if you haven't seen it yet, hero area elite monsters now spawn every 5 minutes. So if you look at the boss area, they will not be showing up over here anymore. And if you look at the quest, it's been updated wherein if you finish killing all the elites for your weekly quest, you'll be able to get 5 tough leathers. So this is 5 per region, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So that's a total of 25 tough leathers times 3 because you have 3 summoners. So you can do this one on all your 3 summoners. And it's actually pretty good this time because the monsters or the bosses spawn every 5 minutes which means it's so much easier to do this now than before because I've been slacking so much on this thing. Also another change as you can see here, if you defeat Baphomet, it's guaranteed to drop you an altered leather now. So imagine this is again 5 per week per region for one summoner. So times 3, you're able to get up to 15 altered leather so we'll all now be able to craft our blue flame set for our main character so pvpers hey let's go right that's a pretty good news personally i like this one this is what they mean when they're trying to relieve player fatigue from the grind right not the events <laughs> i think they really missed on the events but this is how you should be doing it for the other stuff that are actually very very cumbersome Right. So one more thing for the elite monsters in the hero area is that they no longer guarantee or drop tough leathers guaranteed. Okay. So most of the tough leathers that we'll get now is from the weekly quest over here. And also keep in mind that participation reward has been removed for killing the elite monsters. So it's only the first person who lands a hit into the elite monster will 
be the one who will get the drop so kind of unfortunate that they did that but you know they're trying to kind of limit the rewards or the drops that we get from the elite monsters but it's not guaranteed that you get a tough leather because um, i've heard someone was able to get a tough leather from the elite monsters but i've never seen one drop for me so personally i don't know if there's actually a tough leather drop so let me know in the comments if you did get any drops from it so yeah okay, another good change for repeat battle right now is that it does not show you the result screen every time you do or you finish your one battle in repeat battle like it auto repeats first and then shows all the results all the rewards at the end once all the repeat battles have been done right so this is another good quality of life change wherein it makes everything much faster okay so there you go it shows you the detail after the three repeat battles that i did and you can also check the repeat battle record over here to see what are the drops during which stage if you had any fails or successes so pretty good change over here you can also yeah click this one for the details or that one right okay so for the monsters i think a lot of people are asking who to summon for the magical archers personally i think the water one is pretty pretty good there's a lot of good stuff on her kit over here so she can put undead undead is basically um converting healing into damage so they will not be able to heal plus they will take damage so it's a better version of unrecoverable so that's undead skill one over here is recovery received down so um it's not as it's not quite as good as uh, what do you call this unrecoverable but it's okay right and then ne next one is upon attacking the weak point so weak point is the same mechanic that we had for silver fang before so this one deals with your precision versus enemies evasion right so yeah this one's also pretty good because it has oblivion so this one's going to be a counter for the garu meta so uh, i feel like this one's always going to be banned if enemies going to be picking garu so if you want to be countering garu someone for this one okay and her passive is also pretty pretty good right so if the target has recovery received down you can actually replace it with undead which is so good bro this is so good my god right so if you get to hit them with this one skill one with your skill one you get to replace it with undead so pretty good monster over here i mean wind monster kind of looks okay as well but not as good i think as the wind one but this one if the caster attacks with drain so the enemy monster or the enemy that gets defeated cannot be revived so you can actually use this one against revived monsters or revive comps and you can rune her with vampire runes and everything is basically a drain effect right so that's something you can do with ardella the wind magical archer cassandra she seems okay block beneficial effects and block beneficial effect removal plus strips so she seems viable but again uh it's a fire unit that is almost similar as chi Wu, but i don't think it's good enough right and speaking of vampire runes if you go to your path of growth path of adventure laboratory of madness directly now drops vampire runes and for lava cave we can also get despair runes over here now Personally, I hate Laboratory of Madness because I don't have Argon to actually defeat the stage. And I'm still starting to build my Narin, huh? So yeah. Um, Lava Cave is also kind of doable with attack speed monsters. But also a very doable boss if you have the right monsters. Okay? So yeah, those are the changes over here. So Despair Runes and Vampire Runes are here. Next up is for repeat requests. So they actually made it easier. Repeat requests have been updated. So now whenever you do any Contana repeat requests, it's now down to 20 kills instead of previously it was 30. So a pretty good update over here for the repeat request. It just means that it's going to be much faster for us to complete our repeat requests now and lastly for raids um foggy prison and white shadow castle has been updated wherein you can actually enter solo now and you will receive the same buffs that you will get from rupture so increased summoner and monster attack defense and hp so i'm gonna show it to you now 
So you can actually now solo this one because you have huge stat bonuses to your monster and summoner. So if you look at the lower left over here, Professor Luna's Aid is over here. So it's increasing everything, all your max stats. So if you look at your summoner stats here, it's gonna look crazy. And even for your monsters, monster stats are also going to look crazy, right? So yeah, solo should be doable now. Okay, so there you go. It's possible to solo this thing now. We'll try White Shadow Castle as well. Okay, so let's go White Shadow Castle. Same comp. I might need to move a little bit over here. Because we don't want to be eating all the debuffs from this boss. I think that should be enough. And full auto now. Ah oh, shoot, we can't full auto it. Ah! <laughs> Maybe I should have brought in my crow. Okay, there you go. Maybe not full auto if you can't do the arm skip, but I think it's possible to do it with like Helia, Crow, and something else like Argen or Narin, huh? So, yeah. There you go. It's possible to solo them now, so you don't need to find any other players while doing this thing. Alright, so that's pretty much it. All the stuff that I found that's kind of important for the patch that just dropped last or yesterday. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if I missed anything else that's pretty significant for you guys because I might have missed some. We'll talk about the balance patch because there's a lot of good stuff that has happened and I've been affected by a lot from the balance patch, right? So um, ob obviously, we all know that Galleon has been adjusted. So skill two has been nerfed and skill one has been buffed. We also have Sir Acteon, which in his passive has been adjusted as well. So, and Kina has been buffed. So there's a lot of changes that affects my account personally. So I'll be doing a dedicated video towards that one. So stay tuned, Kina mains. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if this has been helpful. And see you again next time. Bye-bye.